Welcome to this video. So far, we have learned to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Moving forward, today in this video, we will learn to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Ravi puts money in his piggy bank every day. If he puts 1 rupee on the first day and increases the amount in the piggy bank by 1 rupee every day, can you tell how much money he will save in 10 days? For this, we have to make a list of the amount Ravi puts in his piggy bank every day. What will be the first term of the list? Absolutely right. The first term A will be 1 because he puts 1 rupee in the piggy bank on the first day. Because Ravi increases the amount by 1 rupee per day, he will put 1 plus 1 equal to 2 rupees in the piggy bank the next day. Going forward in the same manner, we will get an arithmetic progression which represents the money Ravi puts into his piggy bank every day. Now we have to find out how much money Ravi puts into the piggy bank in 10 days. For which, we have to calculate the sum of all the terms of this arithmetic progression. We represent it by S and it displays the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. We can denote it by equation 1. By writing the terms of equation 1, in reverse order, we get equation 2. The equations 1 and 2 represent identical values. By adding equation 1 and 2, we get S equals to 55. Hence, Ravi has collected a total of 55 rupees in his piggy bank so far. Now, we will discuss the process of adding equations 1 and 2 step by step. If we write the steps as follows, what can you say by looking at it? We can see that the number 10 shows the number of terms of the arithmetic progression. Number 1 in bracket is the first term of the arithmetic progression and 10 is the last term of the arithmetic progression. Therefore, in this manner, we can find the sum of terms of a finite arithmetic progression. Now, if we consider an arithmetic progression of n terms whose first term is a and last term, that is the nth term, is a n, so, according to the above formula, we can write the sum of the n terms of an arithmetic progression in this manner. Can you tell the nth term of the arithmetic progression? Absolutely correct. It will be a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d, where d is the common difference of the arithmetic progression. If we substitute the value of a n in this formula, we get this formula, which represents the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic progression whose common difference is d. Today, in this video, we have learned how to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples based on this.